Some Comets Like It Hot, presented by Science at NASA. Comets are icy and fragile. They spend most of their time orbiting through the dark outskirts of the solar system, safe from the withering depredations of intense sunlight. Their natural habitat is the deepest cold. Last November, amateur astronomer Terry Lovejoy discovered a different kind of comet. The icy fuzzball he spotted in the sky over his backyard observatory in Australia was heading almost directly for the sun. On December 16th, less than three weeks after he found it, Comet Lovejoy would swoop through the sun's atmosphere only 120,000 kilometers above the stellar surface. Astronomers would soon realize a startling fact. Comet Lovejoy likes it hot. Terry found a sun grazer, says Carl Battams of the Naval Research Lab in Washington, D.C. It appeared to be as wide as two football fields, the biggest such comet in nearly 40 years. Sun grazing comets aren't a new thing. In fact, the orbiting Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, SOHO, watches one fall toward the sun and evaporate every few days. These frequent kamikaze comets are thought to be splinters of a giant comet that broke apart hundreds of years ago. Typically, they measure about 10 meters across, small, fragile, and easily vaporized by solar heat. Based on its orbit, Comet Lovejoy was surely a member of the same family, except it was 200 meters wide instead of the usual 10. Astronomers were eager to see the Whopper disintegrate. There was little doubt that it would be destroyed. When December 16th came, however, Comet Lovejoy shocked us all, says Battams. It survived, and even flourished. Images from NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory showed the comet vaporizing furiously as it entered the sun's atmosphere, apparently on the verge of obliteration. Yet Comet Lovejoy was still intact when it emerged on the other side. The comet had lost its tail during the fiery transit, a temporary setback. Within hours, the tail grew back, bigger and brighter than before. It's fair to say we were dumbfounded, says Matthew Knight of the Lowell Observatory and the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Lab. Comet Lovejoy must have been much bigger and tougher than we thought. Only a few days after it left the sun, the comet showed up in the morning skies of the southern hemisphere. Observers in Australia, South America, and New Zealand likened it to a searchlight beaming up from the east before dawn. The tail lined up parallel to the Milky Way, and for a few days made it seem that we lived in a double-decker galaxy. Astronauts on the International Space Station also witnessed the comet. ISS Commander Dan Burbank, who has seen his share of wonders, even once flying directly through the northern lights on board the space shuttle, declared Comet Lovejoy the most amazing thing I have ever seen in space. An armada of spacecraft including SOHO, the Solar Dynamics Observatory, SDO, NASA's twin Solar Terrestrial Relations Observatory probes, STEREO, Japan's Hinode spacecraft, and Europe's Proba-2 microsatellite recorded the historic event. We've collected a mountain of data, says Knight, but there are some things we're still having trouble explaining. For instance, what made Lovejoy's tail wiggle so wildly when it entered the solar corona? Perhaps it was in the grip of the sun's powerful magnetic field. What caused Lovejoy to lose its tail inside the sun's atmosphere, and then regain it later? This is one of the biggest mysteries to me, says Battams. And then there is the ultimate existential puzzle. How did Comet Lovejoy survive at all? The comet that liked it hot is returning to the outer solar system, apparently still intact, leaving many mysteries behind. It'll be back in about 600 years, says Knight. Maybe we will have figured them out by then. To learn more about solar system mysteries, hot and cold, visit science.nasa.gov.